Hey guys, what is up? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a exotic engram, prime engram farm in Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Before we get in the video though, if you can drop a like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, feel free to join our community Discord server. We currently have over 100 active members. We're looking to grow that. With the list of though, let's get right into the video. So, many of you are probably here to learn how to farm some exotics in Destiny 2. Now, I do have some really great methods that i would suggest farming as you can see here are some exotics that I have from quests as well as farming or just random drops in destiny 2 which is overall pretty great so your first step is just go to the tower now there's two ways you can actually do this first farm so go to zavala now pretty much if you guys remember uh zavala actually has some bounties now, if you go to Zavala, right here, as you guys can see, there are some strike bounties. Make sure that you claim every single one of these. These are pretty cheap when it comes to Glimmer, so claim all his extra ones as well, as these can give you XP. Now, I'm going to show you guys why this really matters to your exotic farm. So, once you guys go grab Zavala's bounties, you want to also go grab the uh, Banji 44 bounties. Now, once you guys grab these bounties right here... Pretty much just make sure you claim these two ones right here they give a lot of xp especially these ones so as you guys can see right here i have all these bounties from doing this so now if you guys complete your bounties you can actually get some exotic ingrams as you can see you get 98 at level 98 you get one at level 88 you also get one at level 74 you also get one at 65 as well as another one at 65 this is for the people that don't have the season pass you can also get a exotic cipher now what this exotic cipher can do is you can actually buy something from the exotic archive now this is a free exotic ingram but this is not the best method i'm actually going to show you guys the most efficient uh, method right now so there are a couple things that i would suggest using i would suggest using something for pve as you guys can see i do have this night watch with snapshot sites as well as rampage and i also have an I Iculos smg but the only thing is, is this is double primary so if you have something like a heritage shotgun that would also work i would not suggest double primarying but if you have something like that that would work out great i would suggest anarchy for this method you know double primary won't really matter but i would suggest using a heritage but also one important thing you're going to need is overload and uh, anti-barrier now pretty much if you guys go to destinations there's two methods they work neither way so if you go to the nightfall there's a adept a hero a legend as well as a master and a grandmaster so the 1180 exotic gear is rare now for the hero the exotic gear is uncommon and then for 1250 exotic gear is common as well as 1280 common grandmaster common so pretty much you can guarantee yourself at a exotic with the 1280 as well as 1300 now if you are in of light i would suggest going to 1250 but nothing lower than 1250 if you are not 1250 light there is one method that will work for you guys if you do have beyond light so pretty much there are these lost sectors that reset on a daily rotation this one is 1280 recommended but if solo exotic arms now this is really great as you guys can confirm some exotic arms which is also one of the most guaranteed methods now the other law sector currently today is on the cosmodrone if solo exotic chest armor now this is 1250 so for those people that are only like 1240 this is probably the most efficient method for you to get your hands on a exotic ingram just a little fun fact if you actually make sure your ingram slots are filled up and you farm these lost sectors the exotics you actually get are going to go to your postmaster now you can get random exotics from actually doing this so pretty much the exotics that you have that you get from this is going to go to your postmaster if your ingram slots are full now this is really cool as you can get random things now you don't have to go to the cryptum either you can just randomly get you know anything really so you get sunshot you can get um sturm anything really chaperone i don't think you can get sturm actually from this i think there's a quest but yeah so that's pretty much all the methods for uh, farming exotics that i would really suggest i do have a couple more exotic farm videos that are going to be coming soon like always though if you guys enjoyed this video or just found it helpful drop a like subscribe peace thanks for watching